The French Second Republic was a period of political change and experimentation in France that lasted from the 24th of February, 1848, to the 2nd of December, 1852. It emerged in the aftermath of the February Revolution of 1848, which led to the overthrow of King Louis Philippe and the establishment of a republican form of government. Here is a detailed overview of the history of the French Second Republic. 1. February Revolution 1848, Economic and Social Conditions, France faced economic hardships, including high unemployment, food shortages, and social inequality. Dissatisfaction with the July monarchy under King Louis Philippe grew, and opposition to the regime intensified, revolution and abdication, on the 22nd of February, 1848, a series of popular protests erupted in Paris. Troops loyal to Louis Philippe refused to fire on the demonstrators, and the King abdicated in favor of his grandson. However, this move failed to quell the uprising, provisional government, a provisional government was established, composed of liberal and moderate republican leaders. Led by Alphonse de Lamartine, the government initially focused on political reforms and the drafting of a new constitution. 2. Creation of the French Second Republic, Universal Male Suffrage and Elections, the provisional government implemented universal male suffrage, allowing all adult males to vote. Elections were held for a constituent assembly, which would be responsible for drafting a new constitution, social reforms, the government enacted various social reforms, including the abolition of slavery in French colonies, the establishment of the 10-hour workday, and the introduction of unemployment benefits, national workshops, in an effort to address unemployment, the government established national workshops to provide employment. However, this measure proved costly and faced criticism for its inefficiency. 3. Writing and adoption of the Constitution Drafting the Constitution, the Constituent Assembly drafted a new constitution, which aimed to establish a democratic and representative government. It emphasized individual liberties, universal suffrage, and the separation of powers. Adoption of the Constitution The Constitution was adopted on November 4, 1848. It established a unicameral legislature known as the National Assembly, a directly elected president, and a system of ministerial responsibility. 4. Challenges and crisis, presidential elections, Louis Napoleon Bonaparte, the nephew of Napoleon Bonaparte, emerged as a popular figure and won the presidential election held in December 1848. His victory was attributed to his main recognition and promises of order and stability, political divisions, the Second Republic faced significant political divisions, with various factions competing for power. Republicans, socialists, and conservatives have different visions for the country's future, leading to political polarization and instability. 5. The end of the Second Republic, who On the 2nd of December, 1851, Louis Napoleon Bonaparte staged a coup d'etat, dissolving the National Assembly and arresting his political opponents. He declared himself president for life and aimed to consolidate power, Second French Empire. In 1852, Bonaparte organized a plebiscite that resulted in the establishment of the Second French Empire. He proclaimed himself Emperor Napoleon III, ending the Second Republic and ushering in a new era of authoritarian rule. The French Second Republic represented a brief period of democratic experimentation in French history. While it introduced universal male suffrage and implemented social reforms, it also faced significant political challenges and ultimately succumbed to the ambitions of Louis Napoleon Bonaparte leading to the establishment of the Second French Empire. The French Revolution of 1848, also known as the February Revolution, was a period of intense political and social upheaval in France. It emerged as a response to economic hardships, social inequality, and political discontent. Here is a detailed overview of the history of the French Revolution of 1848. 1. Economic and social conditions, economic hardships, France faced economic difficulties in the 1840s, including high unemployment, food shortages, and rising prices. Industrialization and urbanization contributed to worsening conditions for the working class, social inequality, social inequality was prevalent, with a stark divide between the bourgeoisie, who held economic and political power 
and the working class, who endured poor living and working conditions. 2. Precursors and catalysts, banquet campaigns, opposition to the July monarchy under King Louis Philippe grew, with political factions organizing banquet campaigns to advocate for political reforms, increased suffrage, and greater representation, reformist government, in response to growing discontent, Louis Philippe appointed a reformist government under François Guizot in 1847. However, its limited reforms failed to address the underlying grievances. 3. Outbreak of the Revolution, the 22nd of February, 1848. On the 22nd of February, 1848, a peaceful protest organized by students and workers took place in Paris, denouncing Guizot's government and calling for reforms, the 23rd of February, 1848. The protest escalated into violent clashes with the police, leading to barricades being erected in the streets of Paris. The unrest spread rapidly throughout the city, fall of Louis Philippe, faced with mounting pressure, King Louis Philippe abdicated on 24 February, 1848, in favor of his grandson, the Comte de Paris. However, this move failed to appease the revolutionaries. 4. Provisional government and reforms, provisional government, following the abdication of Louis Philippe, a provisional government was established, composed of moderate republicans, socialists, and liberals. Led by figures like Alphonse de Lamartine, François Arago, and Louis Blanc, the government aimed to address the demands of the revolutionaries, reforms and social measures, the provisional government implemented several reforms, including the abolition of the death penalty for political offenses, the establishment of the right to work, and the introduction of the 10-hour workday. They also sought to alleviate poverty and unemployment. 5. Elections and the Constituent Assembly, Universal Suffrage, the Provisional Government introduced universal male suffrage, allowing all adult men to vote, including workers and peasants, Constituent Assembly. Elections for a Constituent Assembly were held in April 1848. The Assembly was tasked with drafting a new constitution for France. 6. Political divisions and challenges, political factions, the Constituent Assembly saw the emergence of various political factions, including moderate Republicans, Socialists, and Conservatives. These factions had different visions for the future of France, leading to political polarization and conflicts. June Day's Uprising, in June 1848, a violent uprising known as the June Days occurred in Paris. It was triggered by the closure of the national workshops, which had provided employment to the urban poor. The government suppressed the uprising, resulting in significant casualties. 7. End of the Revolution, Constitution and Presidency The Constituent Assembly completed the drafting of a new constitution in November 1848. It established a democratic and representative government, with a presidency and a legislature. Louis Napoleon Bonaparte's election, in December 1848, Louis Napoleon Bonaparte, the nephew of Napoleon Bonaparte, won the presidential election. His victory was attributed to his name recognition and promises of stability, coup d'etat and second French Empire, Louis Napoleon Bonaparte staged a coup d'etat on 2 December, 1851 dissolving the National Assembly and establishing the Second French Empire. This marked the end of the Revolution of 1848. The French Revolution of 1848 represented a period of significant political change and social upheaval in France. While it initially held promise for democratic reforms and addressing social issues, it faced challenges and divisions that ultimately led to the consolidation of power by Louis Napoleon Bonaparte and the establishment of the Second French Empire.